Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music and as you can see by my costume, we are going to do a Christmas lesson and in this Christmas lesson, it's going to be an array of songs, a lot of songs where, where you probably know the chord progression, you know a bit of the melody or at least you know how to sing it or you're going to accompany someone else who is going to sing it or maybe a group of friends or a choir or a anyone any any ensemble really so one thing is you need to know the chords for sure and you can watch a lot of our christmas tutorials in the playlist for detailed chord breakdowns and patterns and whatnot in this lesson it's primarily an accompaniment lesson so there's not going to be any melody it's just going to be chords and how you play the chords you could call them chord patterns right so i've divided our study into five categories the first off thing which we are going to learn are ballads then we'll do 3 by 4 or waltz style Christmas songs, then we are going to do 6-8 feel, then we are going to do the groovy stuff, all the party holiday songs uh, and of course we are going to do a few interesting things like how do we play it in a bluesy or a rock and roll way. So do stay tuned to all the parts of this video, it's going to give you a comprehensive approach to understand Christmas music or any music accompaniment really. It's just that in this lesson we are choosing uh, you know our favorite Christmas songs. So play along, get your keyboards out and uh, all of the patterns will be available on our Patreon page. I I've handwritten most of them so you could check it out to get exactly what I'm doing uh, in uh, visually as well. Okay guys, before we get started, it'll be great if you could consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on that bell for regular notifications. We're going to be releasing a lot of new lessons along the way almost daily, so stay tuned. Right, so the first pattern I've, I have for you would be when playing ballad. So any song on a 4-4 which has a more mellow kind of uh, uplifting vibe, you could definitely do this. So if you take, let's say a song like um, Hark the Herald. Hark the Herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Stuff like this, it'll work really well. So a good way to develop this pattern would be take four chords in the right hand or if, let's just take the F major chord, one chord. One, two, three, Four. So each chord is going to be played as quarter notes on the pulse. Two, three, four. One, two. And here's how we uh, develop our left hand. So we go one, two, three, four. Start with just one is to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now to grow this, maybe at the four you could slam an octave. Hark the or at the three, wherever you want. Basically, an additional beat could be hit here. Uh, usually, one and three works. And to make it even more interesting, you could add an eighth note flavor here with the octave. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Now, if you cannot skip over or if you cannot hit the octave at that offbeat eighth note part, also what I call as an eighth note, you can choose the fifth instead of the octave. Glory to because you're anyways playing the chords here and I recommend you to generally play your chords close to each other on the piano. Glory to the newborn king Glory to the newborn king So the eighth note creates that momentum the song needs. Okay. Let me count it for you slowly. One and two and three. So to start with the ballad feel, one, two, three, four. One. Just single notes in the left hand. However, if your chords change faster, 
Okay, let's change the song. Oh, come all ye faithful. Again, that offbeat it none triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to bed. The hymn. Now, if you feel that the ballad is sounding too forceful with these. Um, Power, powerful, you know, uh, four on the floor or quarter note chords. You can dilute it by maybe breaking it up further. Oh, come, holy, faithful. By arpeggiating it. Now, when you arpeggiate it, especially for a song like Oh, come, holy, faithful, you could go. Just break up the chord instead of going. Double it. One and two and three and be faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, ye, oh, come, ye to bed. You could even keep your, depending on what pattern you want. Do you want to do the block chord with the ghost eighth note? Maybe for the second part and be hold him born the king of angel back to our page oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him oh come let us and whenever the chords change you could Obviously, change the chord, but retain the pattern you're playing. Come, come, let us adore Him, Christ, the Lord. Now, another strategy would be to combine block chords with arpeggios, and I think this works well. L let's take another song. Uh, oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. I'm playing it on E minor. Oh, come. So what did I do there? I'm four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So I'm slamming the chord as a whole at the one. I'm even playing a triad in the left hand as well, if you want to consider, or just play the roots. So oh, come, oh, come. take an E minor chord you can block it or rather you can play a block with this ghost note in the left hand singing right or arpeggiate or block it and then arpeggiate even when you block you could kind of flam it Instead of hitting it as a as all three notes together or all four notes together in this case, do a little bit of a guitar esque flam. getting carried away let me move over to the next thing so that we have a lot to learn in this video the next style of christmas piano 
which I'm going to give you for accompaniment will be waltz songs. Okay, waltz basically means three by four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not to be confused with six by eight, which we are going to learn later, because three by four will be one and two and three and three hard hitting on beats. One, two, and everything you add extra will be subdivisions. You could divide it by two, one, two, three, and or you could divide it by three, one and two and three and one and two and. Or you could divide it by four, one e and a two e and a three e and a one e and a two e and a three e. Okay, while this is not necessarily a triplet feel, uh, the six eight could be considered as a, a triplet feel. Okay, so with respect to three by four, I think a very commonly used song which we have is Silent Night, right? So silent. We can kind of divide it between our two hands. You could perhaps consider left, right, right, left, right. So, silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is left, right, right, 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 goes on. Now, if you want to make this more interesting, you could do silent night, holy night, giving you a more country. Okay, so you can also do it for the first Noel, the angel did say. get the idea right so with 3 4 you can make it a bit sneaky or a bit more groovy also especially in a song like we three kings which could go we three kings of orient are bearing gifts we travel afar so um pa pa um pa pa that's how you could say it This three feel will work quite well. You could also kind of maybe flamenco it a bit, you know. Left. So this is more like very groovy between the two hands. Almost like you're playing a tabla or something. Left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right. Child is this Maybe more for V3 Groovy 3 4 songs. May not be for Silent Night. And you could flam that first chord. Or maybe Park How the Bell What about a nice 3x4 arpeggio? I think we need that as well, right? So if it's a more mellow song like, like you know, The First Noel or Silent Night, you could perhaps play it like this. This is a nice 3 4 arpeggio, I think. 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and... This could work well for First Noel. The first or 
साइलेंट नाइट any pattern will work even this could work dun 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 this is what i told you for noel dun 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 first three notes l m h m h octave pum 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 or silent night or silent night holy night all is calm If you're having a problem playing that the more fancier arpeggio you can even do 1 2 3 1 2 3 silent night works perfectly holy night all is calm all is bright round yon 1 2 3 1 2 3 3 keep that going Okay, guys. So this is about waltz, three by four. You can do it. You can divide it by how much ever you want, but it's essentially one, two, three. One, how the bells. One, two, three. Silent night. Two, three. The 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 a a a snow. One, two, three, and so on and so forth. So the the I guess the. close cousin of the 3 by 4 would be a 6 by 8 feel and we can do that really well with a great christmas song probably my favorite christmas songs of all time oh holy night so if you want a nice 6 8 feel this is how you do it let's take a c major chord so nice way to play the 6 8 is use your wrist kind of um, 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 almost like you're swaying to the music i've done a lot of 6 8 accompaniment videos we link that in the description you can also see oh holy night i've done a detailed tutorial of that so i won't spend that much time on it in this lesson check it in our playlist so this is how you do 6 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear savior's birth goes on for on your knees oh here the angel voice So any six by eight song, like even Hallelujah or uh, Wonderful World, dun 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 dun, dun or Is Man, say all those songs, this pattern will work really well. So we've covered quite a few. We've done the ballad, we've done the waltz, we've done our uh, six eight. Now let's get groovy. Let's get dancey and see what we can do. The, uh, at the bare minimum, you could just do like a marching pattern, which I call as umpa. You could do this for pretty much any Christmas song which you want to add some groove to. Like maybe take an E minor chord and let's try an umpa. Immediately adds a groove. Umpa. What can this be? Go rest in merry gentlemen. Pum 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 pum. Pum dun 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 da da da. Da dum pum 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 pum. You could even swing this by adding one extra uh, ghost note in the in whichever hand. So that 
makes your umpa it works really well so let me break it down maybe with the jingle bells dashing through the snow na 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 now so tum so left right left right one and two now to make this pattern a bit more interesting i guess you could swing it dun da 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 na 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 but it changes the vibe depending on the vibe you're going for maybe a more baila goin kind of vibe you could modify this umpa a lot you know you could change it there you can even do an umpa like this in a more reggae works well for jingle bells atari do banana da da na na all the feels we go laughing all the way everything's gonna be all right there that feel na da na da na 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 all road off the red nose reindeer na da 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 ba ba or maybe can pretty much do so umpa reggae we can even do and just squeeze in these off beats and you can even do an umpa mm, without the five you can if you want to keep it simple one and two and three four and one bana param modern dance if you will would be to add a very caribbean groove called the tresio which is what we commonly call a two ways to build the tresio as an accompaniment style one is you could just play the tresio as left right right left right right so one year at the end now if you want to make it more caribbean or even more salsa you can do a 5 1 5 on the beat one year and a two year and a three year and a four year and a one year and a while the right hand is going to go dimit pak kata dumit kak kata dumit kak kata dumit kak kata rudo lot of fun with just umpa so at the very bare minimum if you're new to the piano play your chords like this root chord fifth chord root chord it's good work well and just to cap off our series i thought why not make some christmas songs into two of our most favorite genres blues and rock and roll if you take a standard blues pattern on the piano like maybe you know You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not shout. I'm telling you why a Santa Claus is coming to town. You can maintain that pattern, making it very bluesy. you 
lagu dua Lekon On the blue scale Which is like either the major blues or the minor blues you could use for your lick So major blues 1, 2, 3 flat, 3, 5, 6 octave Minor blues 1, 3 flat, 4, 5 flat, 5 Minor 7th octave So let's try that with maybe another one, Rudolph. Rudolph the red nose ranger. And the right hand, you could just comp your chords. A common way to do it would be. And usually with blues music and rock and roll, we tend to swing. So instead of doing. Which is kind of rock and roll. Let's try swinging. Rudolph the red nose ranger. And you're not you're targeting some of the off beats in the right hand, like the two at the end of the one and two and three or and two and three. We also call this Charleston. And So those were five, I guess, five into I don't know how many patterns we've done in this video. I've lost count. Uh, but five general approaches to accompaniment on the piano for a variety of music. In this Christmas themed lesson, we have specifically taken Christmas songs. But this could give you an insight into even other songs which you're planning to, uh, to compile or arrange or even compose songs on your own. You could see if any of these patterns appeals to you or inspires you. So as a recap, we've done our ballad stuff very much 4-4, right? Very peaceful. No, come, then we've done our uh, waltz. Could even do the slower one with arpeggios. Then we have the six eight for O Holy Night. Holy Night. Then we did the da dancey patterns. And the rock and roll. Watch the video, see the chapter markers to gain some more insights. You could also consider a regular course at Nathaniel if you'd like, you know, in the new year by filling up a form in the description and one of our team will get in touch with you and take your admission forward. Thanks a ton for watching the video, guys. Wishing you and all your loved ones, family members, a Merry Christmas and a great, happy, musical, prosperous new year moving forward. Cheers. See you in the next one.